two and one, one double word score. That's eight points for George. <laughs> ah, it's a good game, this, isn't it? Yeah. All right, oh dear. M, M. Hmm. <laughs> ah, yacht. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's uh, that's seven. That's thirteen points for George. I'm winning, Mildred. What are you doing? I'm playing with myself. <laughs> Ask a silly question. Why a h t? What's that? Well, it's yacht. Well, where's the c? Underneath the yacht. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, I've had my turn, so now it's my turn again. Uh, George, I'd like a word. Well, what? Take your pick. Cat, yacht, anything you like. Well, I need a p. Not until I finish talking. <laughs> now look, George. Tomorrow is a very special day for you and me. So, uh, what's so special about it? The dustman come. <laughs> Apart from that, now, 26 years ago tomorrow. Now, think, George, what did you do on that day? Oh, yeah, now, let's see, that was a Tuesday, wasn't it? Yeah, I caught number three tram down to the newsagent, that was tuppence, yeah. Bought a packet of five pashas, seven pence, oh, yeah, in the picture post. What? How the hell do I know what I was doing? I'm not Leslie Welsh. <laughs> oh? Don't you remember him? He remember you. <laughs> Let me refresh your memory, George. <laughs> Give us a clue. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. We got married. It's our wedding anniversary tomorrow. Oh, George, you remembered. Oh, do I ever forget? Yeah, every now and again. <laughs> like 25 times on the trot. <laughs> Look, George, other people on their wedding anniversaries, well, they... They do things. Do things? Yeah. <laughs> well, they celebrate, you know, they give each other presents. Oh, oh, that, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> now, uh, I bought you a present, George, so uh, what are you going to do? I'll say thank you, Mildred. <laughs> <laughs> you are going to buy me one, and you're going to send me a card, all oh, without any prompting from me, understood? Yeah, all right. All right. Now you can go to the bathroom. <laughs> Ah, oh, you're back. Look, just look at this. Congratulations, I put it in the salad. <laughs> it's bindweed. Oh, I can't put bindweed in the salad. I know you can't. Look, it's spreading and all the roots are in the Roper's garden. Well, can't you reach through and kill them? Oh, I'd love to, especially... <laughs> the roots! I can't get at them. They're in the middle of his nettle bed. <laughs> I must calm down. Control myself. Yes, have a Valium sandwich. <laughs> yes. And, uh, what have you been up to this morning, dearest? I took Tristram to the playground on the common. The common? Where all the council estate children play. <laughs> nice. Now, don't be snobbish, Geoffrey. Is it snobbish to feel that their sort should have a separate playground? Yes. Yes, I suppose it is. <laughs> Tristram's made a friend there, Tommy. They're the same age. Oh. And what does his father do? He sells bindweed down at the market. <laughs> Look, and all I'm trying to say is that Tristram has been picking up some bad speech habits from the council children. Oh, he hasn't. Can we go back to the playground this afternoon? Uh, I don't think so, son. I think you'd better get on with your homework. I ain't got none. <laughs> I ain't got none. Well, neither of us ain't got none, then. <laughs> As I was saying to Anne, oil and water simply do not mix. No, no. Gin and tonic do, though. What? what? Yes, of course. Uh, same again, please, large ones. Now, don't misunderstand me. I've got nothing against the working class. Mm, salt of the earth. Goes without saying. But one doesn't want one's son mixing with people who can't speak properly. Gosh, truth, how can I sink a pint of cooking? <laughs> if you see what I mean. Quite. Oh, hello, son. Uh, you in the chair, are you? No, I'm standing. Oh, good. Mine's a pint. <laughs> right. What should we chat about, then? Weed in your garden. Who did? <laughs> Bindweed. Oh, oh, you mean all that the green stuff? Yeah, it's coming along nicely, isn't it? Uh, Mr Roper, do you ever talk to yourself? <coughs> no. Well, now's your chance. As I was saying. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Do I ever talk to myself? What sort of question's that? It'd be a daft thing to do, wouldn't it? Yeah, of course it would. 
I have nothing against the working classes. Against him, yes, but he's not working. <laughs> and he's got no class. Uh, perfectly happy with my own company. I don't need them. <laughs> American Express. Well, it's my run, I think. Uh, excuse me. No, 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 no. I'm just buying for him. What? No, no, not that. This. I just found him. Uh, you lost a credit card. Oh. <laughs> no, are mine all here? Yes, so am I. <laughs> Yes, sir. A black briefcase. Yes. This morning. Well, we'll certainly let you know if one is handed in. Could you give me some idea of the contents? Why not, sir? <coughs> oh, yes, it would be quite helpful. Thank you, sir. Pair of black directoire. Yes, I've got that, sir. <laughs> pair of patent leather ladies' shoes. Six-inch heels. Size? Eleven? <laughs> You're a right one here. Parlour maid's apron. Yes, sir. <coughs> Feather duster. <laughs> A cheese and tomato sandwich. <laughs> right, so just uh, leave it with me, will you? I don't know why I bothered to write that down. I think I'll remember it. <laughs> What's your problem? Oh, um, well, well, supposing I found something. Not a black briefcase? Uh, no, 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 no. What have you found? Oh, uh, nothing, but I was wondering if there might be a reward. <laughs> what, for finding nothing? Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, a, a credit card, see, if I ha which I haven't necessarily found. <laughs> well, sir, I. Uh... Little Road. Oh, yes, sir. No, sir, no, no, you didn't mention that. A studded dog collar with lead. <laughs> yes, sir. If your briefcase is handed in, I'll give you a ring. At the vicarage, yes. <laughs> now, this credit card. Where didn't you find it? Oh, down at the... No, 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 no. no, no, no. I, I didn't say I had. Have you or haven't you? Uh, oh. <laughs> morning, George. Oh, uh, good morning. Now, let's see if a certain someone has remembered our wedding anniversary. Oh, yeah. Well. <laughs> oh, yes. To my darling Mildred. Thank you for 26 glorious years. All my love, George. Kiss, kiss, kiss. I didn't send that. I know you didn't. I sent it myself. <laughs> it's the only way I'm going to get one. Oh, good. I'm glad I didn't forget. Oh. And uh, here's mine to you. Oh. Oh, tough. Uh, I wasn't expecting it. It's a get well soon card. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, here's my present. Oh. Thank you, Mildred. Yeah? It's a pair of black silk pyjamas. Oh! They will make you look just like Bruce Lee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> More like Peggy Lee. <laughs> well, they replaced the ones you'd got torn last week. Yeah, and whose fault was that? Well, mine, but... I was trying to scrub out a cocoa stain. Well, you might let me take them off first. <laughs> but put the new ones on. Go well, on, oh, put yeah. them on. All right, then. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> No, I'll tell you what, uh, I'll give you your present. <clears throat> you mean you've actually bought me something? Well, you told me to. Oh, George, you, you're so thoughtful. <laughs> there you are. Yeah, it's only a fur coat. Oh, yes, I know, but it's a thought that... Yeah, it's... Oh, oh, my goodness! It's, it's second-hand. Oh, yes, but George is a fur coat. And it cost me 30 quid. Yes, but it's a... I got it from the Oxfam shop. Oh, <laughs> George. Oh, oh. God. <laughs> one of the reasons that you go to private school is that you can learn to speak, uh... Proper? <laughs> proper Lee. And since you've been playing with young Tommy, you have been dropping your H's. I haven't. 
Uh, see? Sorry. I will try harder. Good lad. And doorbell's ringing. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. I was black in the great, sir. <laughs> Can we go and play football in the garden now? Uh, I don't think Hello, so. Hello, Mildred. Do come in. Yes, let's. <laughs> How are you, dear? All right? Oh, fine. Good. Good. Hello, Mrs. Roper. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Do sit down, Mildred. I'll put the kettle on. Thank you, dear. Oh, <coughs> did Mr. Roper find out who that credit card belonged to? I don't think so, love. No. Here, but you'll never guess what he bought me. Oh, what? Oh, it is the most beautiful credit card. Well, yes. Geoffrey said he found one yesterday in the pub. Well, George did. Hmm. Lucky it was him. But why? Well, if you lose one and it falls into the wrong hands, they can buy all sorts. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you were saying? Oh, nothing, dear. No, um, look, I can't stay. No, I just popped in because it was, um... Uh, excuse me. I reckon it quite suits me. <laughs> George? Greetings, <laughs> Lotus Blossoms. <laughs> Just answer me one question. Where did you get the money to buy that fur coat? Oh. So? Ask no questions, told no lies. Oh, my God. What? You found a credit card yesterday, didn't you? Yes. Oh, I see. Are you thinking what I think you're thinking? I think so. When did I ever do anything dishonest, Mildred? Well, you had to... Yeah, well, let's put it another way. <laughs> yes. I refuse to discuss the matter. <laughs> Illiterate, yeah. <laughs> is there one L in illiterate or two? <laughs> I said, is there one L in illiterate? I'm not talking to you, George. Yes, you are. You just said, I'm not talking to you, George. <laughs> <laughs> Happy anniversary, Mildred. <laughs> what? 26 years and one day. See, I remembered. George, how did you pay for this coat? Oh, girl, you're not still going on about that. Don't you like it? I want nothing to do with it. Oh, right. In that case, you can have your pyjamas back. I'll sleep with nothing on. <laughs> no, I won't, no, I won't. Cool, Sue. That's all the thanks you get, Moby. I bet if you gave your wife a fur coat, she wouldn't fling it in your face, would she? No, of course she wouldn't. Well, there you are, then. Come on in, love. I just popped in to borrow a cake tin. I can't remember what I did with mine. I can. You lent it to me. Oh. <laughs> but you're welcome to borrow it. Thanks. Morning, Mr. Roper. What? Oh, yeah, likewise. Oh, here. Yeah. Do you want a fur coat? What do I have to do for it? I don't understand. Oh, no, 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 no. No, nothing like that. You'd have to buy it. Mildred doesn't want it. Oh, well, it's quite nice. Well, 30 quid and it's yours. George, ignore him, love. It is not his to sell. It's not mine either. <laughs> yes, isn't it, sweet? Thank you so much. Good day. Excuse me, um, if I wanted to buy something here, uh, uh, would you take a credit card? We are a charity, madam. We take anything. Money, cari shells, dustbin lids. <laughs> Your favorite. American Express? I haven't got one. Oh, that's different. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, you see, what, what I mean is that if, uh, if someone bought something yesterday uh, with the card and I returned it, would you cancel the charge? Well, yes, but... Um... <clears throat> Oh, what's wrong with it? I am a friend of the earth. 
Yes, well, I'm quite fond of it myself, but... Uh... I don't think anyone should wear a beaver coat. Well, unless, of course, it's a beaver. Nice. Yeah. Well, I suppose I could wade through yesterday's accounts. It costs 30 pounds. Shouldn't take me more than an hour or two to trace it. Oh! <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, of course. And then, when I find it, I shall have to cancel the job. Quiet. <laughs> made a cake and they're usually quite eatable <laughs> uh, yes about four o'clock then and bring a water pistol yes <laughs> bye Tommy it's all fixed up not quite we haven't told your father yet that's really a woman's job <laughs> yes all right I'll tell him tell him what well I've invited someone to tea today and I'm not sure you'll be too pleased your mother. <laughs> Anthony Wedgwood, Ben? <laughs> Not Roper. <laughs> Tommy. Oh, hmm. that's all right. From the council estate? Yes. We ain't half looking forward to it. <laughs> yep. Tartar. That's it. See that, Moby? Tartar. That's like the sauce they pour over fish. No, you probably wouldn't be interested in that. <laughs> Ah, where you been then? There and back. Oh, all right, be like that. I won't tell you won the game. George, I want you to make me a solemn promise. What? You will never do it again. Oh, yeah, I'll go along with that. <laughs> right then. Hand it over. Come on. What? The credit card. Oh, God. No, it wasn't yours, George. You should never have used it to buy that fur coat. I didn't. Oh, don't you lie to me. You can go to jail for doing something like that. There. Don't move. I haven't finished with you yet. Yes? Uh, does a Mr. Uh, George Roper live here? Yes. Well, can I have a word with him? Yes, of course. Hmm. Yeah. What about? I've just come from the police station. Oh, he didn't do it? Hmm? Oh, no, well, well he, he, he might have done, but I mean, he didn't mean to. Are you in plain clothes? Hmm. Fairly plain. Uh, uh, George! George, don't say anything until you've seen the lawyer. You what? Uh, Mr. Roper, my name is MacDonald. He's from the police station. Oh, it's about the credit card, is it? Uh, I. He has his blackouts, you hmm? see. He forgets things. I don't have blackouts. You see, you've forgotten them as all. <laughs> I'd like to thank you, Mr. Roper. Uh, oh. But uh, you see, he's never done anything like this before. Thank him? But, but why? I mean, he's... For handing in my credit card. But he doesn't... I think honesty like that deserves a small reward. Oh, well, no, I couldn't really accept anything. No? Oh, yeah, well, I mean, if you want to, yeah. yeah. George, I'm so... Later, Mildred. Uh, here we are, then, and thanks again. Oh. Ten fags? Eight, actually. I've smoked a couple. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, uh, show myself out. You certainly will. Oh, if you don't mind... I'll just take the coupons. I collect them. <laughs> Do you like? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, George. Oh, miserable git. <laughs> I wish I'd used his credit card to buy your fur coat. Oh, you wouldn't have done that. My fur coat! <laughs> oh, it's ever so nice, isn't it? And such a bargain, too. Do you think it suits me? No. Well, just because you don't like it, don't put everybody else off. But I do like it. I want it. Oh, well, if she wants it, I'll have it. I'll write a cheque. <laughs> but I had it first. But you brought it back. Now, incidentally, I went through the accounts. It was paid for in cash. I know. I could refund it if you insist. Yes. So most people give us money. I gave you all my change. I mean, we are a charity. <laughs> Now, uh, Geoffrey, you are going to be nice to Tommy. And do you take me for an insensitive oaf? Pass. <laughs> All right, he can drop his H's if he wants to. He can use double negatives. He can split his infinitives if he wants to. I'll say nothing. Just try to make him feel at home. Certainly. <laughs> shall I wait till Tristram gets out, or shall I put the coal in the bath now? Geoffrey, he's only a little boy. Be nice. Be nice. I may need a little help. Uh, Geoffrey? Hello, little chap. 
I, uh, oh. Uh, uh, Jeffrey, this is Tommy's father, Mr... Uh... Bert Harris. Yes. How do you do? Uh, hello. Um, I thought your son was... Uh... Uh, no, no, he's, uh, he's not coming. Uh, no offence, of course, but, uh, but I mean, uh, quite honestly, uh, I don't think he should mix with you lot. The, uh, <laughs> the bourgeoisie. I mean, uh, you are, so to speak, the class enemy. Uh, no offence, of course. I beg your pardon. Uh, do sit down. Oh, sir. As a matter of fact, I think it'd be better if uh, my Tom and your lad didn't play together so much. Why not? Well, Tom's picking up this sort of uh, lardy da way of speaking from your kid. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, uh, could you elucidate? Yeah, that's the sort of thing. <laughs> Only I want my boy to grow up like me, don't I? Do you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm a union shop steward, see. A shop and, steward. Uh, I'll get your blood pressure pills. <laughs> well, and he's going to be the same. And he can hardly stand up in front of 3,000 factory workers and say, I tell you what, chaps, wouldn't it be a spiffing wheeze if we withdrew the jolly old labour? What, what? <laughs> you know what you are, don't you? What? You're a bloody snob. coat was gone. What? Yeah, well, you know, I took it back to the shop because I thought you'd... you'd... They've sold it. I see. My present to you. Oh, George, I'm, I'm sorry I doubted you. I'm sorry. It's all very well, Mildred. But I think an apology is called for. Yes. <laughs> you doubted my honesty, Mildred, and that hurt. It's very difficult for a man to forgive and forget when his honesty is questioned. Yes, but... Well, where did you get the money? Post office savings account. Ah. But you haven't got one. No, but you had. I forged your signature. You got 30 quid. <laughs> <laughs>